Hi, I'm Ross Barefoot with Horizon Web Marketing, and this is a quick tutorial video to show you how you can add an authorized user to your Google Search Console account. Now, I am assuming a certain amount of knowledge, basically, that you're able to log into your Google Search Console account. If you've never set up Search Console for your website, I have another video that will walk you through the steps about how to do that. I'll put a link to that video down in the description. So, Let's assume that you've already logged into your Search Console, and we'll take it from there. Here I am at the dashboard for Google's Search Console. Now, as of this filming, which is in late August of 2018, Google is in the midst of a very lengthy transition from this version of Search Console to a new, new version of Search Console. I'm going to show you how to add a user in both versions, depending on which one you work with and which one you have access to. So right here I've gone to a particular, uh, particular account within Google Search Console and now I want to add a user. And this is going to be typical, for example, if you employ an SEO agency like Horizon Web Marketing whenever we work with an account. If they already have a Search Console, we ask them to add us as an administrative user so that we can manage that account on their behalf or so we can use it for diagnostics. So first of all, you go up to the little gear icon at the top right and you click on that and you'll notice that you've got a choice here that says Users and Property Owners. Now if you don't see that choice, if you only see a couple of choices here and one of them is not Users and Property Owners, it would mean that you don't have full rights to your Google Search Console and you're going to have to track down who actually does have full rights. I'm going to go ahead and click on Users and Property Owners. And then you'll see I've got myself in here a couple of times, but I'm going to add myself again with a different email account just to simulate how this is done. So you'll see up here a red button, Add a New User. Click on that. And now I'm going to add an email. Now this email has to be one that Google recognizes as having a Google account. And I know that this one is the case. Usually you're completely safe if you add a Gmail account. If it's not a Gmail account, it has to be an email that is tied to a Gmail account or it won't work. You've got a couple of levels here. Not a lot of granularity, but you've got restricted or full. Now if you grant restricted access, then the person who is logging in under that restricted access email is going to see, uh, is not going to have the option to add other users. Normally we ask for full access as an agency. You can make your choice here depending on what your situation is. And then we'll go ahead and click Add. And we have done what we needed to do. This user now has full access. If I wanted to go back later and change their access rights, I could do that. Or I can delete them with this button. That's how it works with the old version of Google Search Console. Let's switch over here to the new version of Google Search Console. And normally when you log in to the new version of Google Search Console, it's going to look like this. Now you can check to see if you have access to the new version by going to this address up at the top, which is different than the old days. It's search.google.com forward slash search hyphen console. So once I've logged in here, I now have a choice that says settings. Now Google has just added this to the search console as of late August 2018. And it's very possible that this is going to change in its layout in the near future because Google likes to do things like that. But you'll see one of the choices here is for users and permissions, so I'm going to click on that. I've got the same situation here, and I've got a different color button up at the top right, which is Add User. And it's going to ask for a valid Google account email. Let's do the same thing I did before, and we'll click Add. And there we go. Very similar, of course, to the old one. You just need to know where to navigate in order to find those settings, and you're good to go. And the person that you want to grant, grant access to is now able to work in your Google Search Console account, and you have not had to share your username and login with them, which is the way it should be. Again, I'm Ross with Horizon Web Marketing. I hope this has been useful to you. If you find our how-to videos useful, Please hit the subscribe button and 
hit the notification icon and you'll be notified when we put up new videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.